Hey, what is going on guys? Hex coming up back into the brand new video and as always in the top below the topic we are talking about today, which is just happens to be about episode two of Tales of Zestria. First off I want to say guys, the first episode I did and or and review, I did as technically episode zero and the last one was episode one technically, so this is episode two, so don't get those confused. I changed the titles and whatnot so you guys wouldn't get those confused hopefully and I knew some of you guys would be like, What the hell? But now let's get into the video. So basically this episode is foreshadowing that Sori is gonna end up being the shepherd. He has the shepherd traits. And one, whenever it talks about him growing up there, he's grew up there all his life, he doesn't know what the outside world is. It's kind of a given. I mean, Seraphim don't like humans, but naturally they want to live with him. He's only, he's only acceptable human, apparently. So how did he end up growing up there? Who were his parents? So it makes me wonder, is the shepherd like passed down through like bloodline and stuff or what's that all about and the animation for this episode man the animation was beautiful there's actually you can all go watch something and it would have covered this whole episode for you but it would have been like 40 minutes he had some extra parts and they took some parts out of that and put into this i think it's like a pro dog a prologue that came out like in like january or something because i just randomly found him whenever i heard tales of destiny was coming out so i want to see if he had any of the series because i didn't know if it's season two and i found that but the animation was just, oh, it was so beautiful. It was so, even Gramps' high heels look goddamn good. I mean, <laughs> but now the fighting animation when the Hellions showed up, like in the prologue, that Mason actually got eaten. Like he was a goner. He got eaten, but he lived in this one. That same Helion, but he just got eaten. The animation, whenever they're like flying around and Sori and the Helion were going back and forth and like Sori's getting thrown around like a ragdoll the first three seconds and just the acrobatics and stuff. Oh my gosh, the animation. I've only seen acrobatic fighting animation like that in Sora Online. I mean, gosh, that was so good. Like, I was I was impressed. But we find out Sora actually got some skill too, though. We, he's not he's not just a scrub, I mean. <laughs> but apparently the healing was unaffected by Sora's sword, so... Definitely needs to upgrade whenever he goes to the capital, and obviously he's going to be the one to pull off the sword. I mean, let's just be honest. We've seen it in the, in the uh, opening. At the same time, I, I did say something in my last video about the glove and stuff. Whenever Alicia handed, oh, Sori handed her the glove originally, and then Alicia ended up hang, handing it back later on. And she's like, I believe the shepherd to be someone like you. In the other video, I was talking about the prologue that came out in like January. She, she believes the shepherd she believed it was him she like said it she believed it was him instead of that instead of someone like you i believe but that was a really good the choreography of that moment is really good it i mean animation wise the choreography for this anime is always gonna be fantastic but just the moment and the way they set it up it, it's very well done i i really like that you know when she said her goodbyes that was that was neat when she handed it back and now obviously he's on his way to the capital trying to well technically i don't know if he's on the way to the capital he's just trying to save Alicia <laughs> I don't know if he's just trying to get to Alicia before well obviously he's trying to get there before the Hellion does but I don't know if they're gonna meet up beforehand or not um I would think before though I think because that Hellion dude's able to get through all the knights I mean get right into the capital thousands of soldiers he's fucking OP I mean he's yeah no see right when Gramp showed up though he's like yeah I'll see you. <laughs> I ain't got time to mess around with you. The main dish is getting away. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as soon as she left, we didn't even have time to relax. But we also find out that the place where the Seraphim re reside and or story is called Alicia. And I guess it's in the Crest books. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I should have wrote that down. Kind of blew, you know, right, went right over my head. But once again, guys, as always, sure leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at X25, and let me know what you guys thought of this week's episode. Can't wait to see. I can't wait to see next week because when I was watching that pillow thing, it ended right here at the end where they're on the mountain and they're like, this is the world. And I was like, this is the type of animation. 